To understand this, you have to go back to what young brother here referred to as the house Negro and the field Negro back during slavery. There was two kinds of slaves. There was the house Negro and the field Negro. The house Negro, they lived in the house with master. They dressed pretty good. They ate good because they ate his food, what he left. <laughs> they lived in the attic or the basement, but still they lived near their master. And they loved their master more than the master loved himself. They would, they would give their life to save their master's house quicker than the master would. The house Negro, if the master said, we got a good house here, the house Negro said, yeah, we got a good house here. <laughs> Whenever the master said we, he said we. That's how you can tell a house Negro. <laughs> if, the master's, if the master's house caught on fire, the house Negro would fight harder to put the blaze out than the master would. If the master got sick, the house Negro would say, what's the matter, boss? We sick. We sick. <laughs> he identified himself with his master more than his master identified with himself. And if you came to the house Negro and said, let's run away, let's escape, let's separate, that house Negro would look at you and say, Man, you crazy. What you mean, separate? Where is there a better house than this? Where can I wear better clothes than this? Where can I eat better food than this? That was that house Negro. In those days, he was called a house nigger. And that's what we call him today because we still got some house niggers running around here. <laughs> <laughs>